what's going on my peoples hope everybody doing good out there man hope everybody's staying blessed no stress for the 2020 man where we're gonna make money plenty yo i had a question man one of my subscribers asked me a question right and i told him i was gonna um, make a video out of it so i can get other people to um to help us you know share their opinion on how they got their experiences <clears throat> you know what I mean um, because one of my subscriber asked me that how did I get my experience to come local because you know most local jobs they want you to have experience right now first thing I want to say to um, all the new drivers out there man hey y'all keep doing what y'all doing man you guys are wising up you guys are um, realizing that um, you don't have to go over the road to make money, right? So, first thing I want to say is that to all the new drivers that's coming in the game, start doing your research locally in your area. There are always a few companies that will take you and train you right away. I know in the LTL, I'm not an LTL expert, but I know in the LTL world, um, a lot of companies will hire you without experience. Um, most of some of these companies, they re require you to work on a dock also. And then you're gonna start getting your driving experience with them. And some of these um, some of these um, soda companies, the companies that deliver soda, 7-Up, stuff like that, they'll hire you. And you always find like a little mom and pop company locally that will hire you. So wherever you live, you got to do your research locally for companies that will um, hire you with no experience locally. Trust me, it's out there. Somebody will train you. You know what I mean? Because it's advantage for them and it's also advantage for you. Because what they're looking at, <clears throat> they know that you're inexperienced, so they're not going to want to pay you top dollar. So companies like that try to be slick, but that's an advantage for you because you don't want to go over the road. You want your experience. So you get with a company, you get your experience. And <clears throat> you never know. You might end up staying there or you might leave. Now, what I did, let me talk about me. What I did um, when I got my CDL, you know, um, I went through Swift, Swift Transportation. Um, I got my CDL for free. Um, I went to Memphis, Tennessee. Actually, the, um, the academy that I went to was in Millington, Tennessee. You know, they train us, they train us, um, and then we all went and got our CDL, and then whoever made it um, went with a trainer, went out with a trainer for a couple weeks, and then after that, after that, I <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with y'all, after that I quit after that I quit but I got my CDL so that was the most important thing you know the, the thing about most of those companies that you go over the road to get your CDL most of those companies require you to stay with them for a year some even two years um, so you can um, it's kind of like so you can pay them back for the free schooling that you receive from them it's just like a they do for you, so you gotta do for them. You know what I mean? And most of the times, the majority of the times, when you end up with company like those, the first year, you're not really gonna make no money. But, don't look at it like that. Look at it as you're getting your experience. You know, because one of the problems that guys are running into when they get their CDL is that most of these big companies they're requiring you to have a year experience. Um, some of these companies are requiring you to have two, eight, two years experience. And um, that's just how it is. And to all the um, to all the drivers out there that want to be an own operator one day, um, let me tell you a little bit of something about Landstar. So if you're ever thinking about going to Landstar or a company like that, Landstar is a strict company, strict requirements. This company require you to have 
a year over the road within the last three years. Excuse me. Within the last three years, and six months out of six months out of that year, gotta be snow and ice, right? Yeah, yeah. So, what it all breaks down to in this trucking game, in this trucking world, it all breaks down to experiences, right? You have to get with a company and whatever company you get with, just stay there for a while. The year goes by fast, people. You know what I mean? The problem that I see with a lot of, um, especially the trucking people on YouTube, man, is that they job hop all over the place, man. And they think that crap is cool, man. It's not cool to be, um, it's not cool to have six, seven jobs in a year. It's just not, man. Stop it. You know what I mean? Um, I can't justify nobody like that. I can't root for nobody like that. You know what I mean? Um, being professional and um, doing what you gotta do, making the right choice, making the right job. You don't need to be job hopping all over the place like that, man. Especially new drivers, man. I know it's gonna be rough when you come in the game and you go over the road, of course it's gonna be rough. You're gonna be away from family. You might be away from kids. You might be away from your wife. You might be away from your wife and your wife's sister. Well, that'd be a problem if you end up missing your wife's sister on it. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's just a little sacrifice, man, that you gotta make that you gotta take, you know what I mean? And, and when you really look at it, like it's not that big of a sacrifice. Shout out to everybody that's in the Army right now. Shout out to everybody that's in the Navy, the Marines, um, you name it, the Air Force, the military, man. Shout out to all the military. And you're asking me, why did I bring on the military? Because they're making the ultimate sacrifice. Truck drivers is just going on the road for two two weeks and coming home. They're making the sacrifice. Like imagine what their family and their wife got to go through. They're the ones that's out there. Like like we're out there for two or three weeks at a time. They're out there, out there. <laughs> they're out there, out there, out there. Sometimes the family don't see these guys for like a year, two years. You know what I mean? So sometimes I, I get tired of um truck drivers complaining you know what I mean um, sometimes you got to do what you got to do you know what I mean because a lot of drivers want to be successful locally you know what I mean because you, you could have a successful career as a local truck driver you know what I mean but unfortunately most of these companies require some type of experience and some companies go as low as six months experience people that's not that bad, you know what I mean? You can stay with a crappy company for six months. You know what I mean? It's not that bad, man. I mean, it is worse. It's worse flipping burgers. Shout out to everybody that work with the fast food companies. No disrespect to y'all, but I'm just saying, it's, it's worse flipping burgers, and that's just a fact. You know what I mean? You wanna be flipping burgers for the rest of your life. You know what I mean? So, you gotta come in the game, man, and um, just do it the right way. Once you start skipping from job to job, you become like a job tool. <laughs> you become like a job garden tool. I don't wanna use that, that word right there, but you guys know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like, your resume is just trash. Trash resume, man. I can count on one finger or one hand the amount of jobs I had in 10 years. You know what I mean? Like, you know when they give you, like in the computer, on a computer when you fill out an application and asking for some driver's 10 year work history, they might make the computer crash, yo, when they start putting companies, they, they're, they're gonna end up forgetting. Where they where they work? You know what I mean? Shout out to all my um, all my friends that work with me. I got 
got a few friends that we all work together. Um, they put in their time. You know what I mean? They really put in their time, man. And, um, so when you get in this game, man, just do your due diligence, man. Take your time. However, you got to get that experience. Get it. Do your local research. Research your area first. Talk to a driver. Call up some companies. And that's the only way you can do it. If not, then hit the road for six months to a year. The company that you want to work for, just see how long of experience you need and just go out there and get it. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing to it, people, just to do it. You know what I mean? So, yo, y'all take it easy. It's 2020. We're going to make money plenty. I'm out.